Well, that's about it for tonight, Warriors. But remember to stay vigilant. If you see something, get it on your cell phone. Send us your videos. Send us your audio recordings. We cannot continue to fight the oppression unless we are all awake and working together. We will not go quietly into that good night. Until next time, I'm Jacob Gibbon. And we're clear. Great show today, Mr. Gibney. Joey, what did I tell you? Not to address Mr. Gibney unless he addresses me first. I'm fired, aren't I? No, I'll fix this. Just try to stay away for about a week and he probably won't even remember that you exist by Monday. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Park. Thank you so much. Jane, come on. Now. Obviously, you are going to have to speak to Jacob, but only if Jacob speaks to you first. And don't ever make eye contact with him. He hates that. Does Jacob not any And to... don't ever, ever call him Jacob. I'm the only one who's allowed to call him Jacob, and that's only because I've been here for 10 years. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I just... just you'll get the hang of it. Just don't make any stupid mistakes. <sighs> and one more thing. No matter what you do, and no matter whatever happens, don't ever ask him about the stuff he talks about in his show. Oh, you mean the aliens and conspiracies and stuff? No matter what. Sheila. Just don't. Coming! Come on. Just don't say anything. I don't ever want to see that little shit again. I've already got it handled, boss. Oh, um, let me introduce you to your new assistant. This is Janie Mary. Welcome aboard, hon. You know how to make a desert dry martini? Uh, uh... Trick question. I hate martinis. I'm a Scots drinker. You're a drinker? What was your name again? Uh, it's Jeannie Mearing, sir. And I'm not really a drinker. I mean, I did used to have some Zima a while back, Listen, but... Listen, your, your job is to get me a Scotch on the rocks after every show. Three fingers, three ice cubes. You think you can handle that? Uh, yeah, I just... Yeah, yeah, good, good. Listen, scotch in silence. You can handle that. You should be okay. I'm gonna go take a nap. Wake me up at 2.30. And I mean exactly 2.30. And we'll talk more then. If I can't address him directly, then how can I wake him up? Oh, you'll figure it out. Now, where is the clipboard that I gave you? Oh, it's the... Uh... Oh, shit. I'll be right back. Oh, the kid is dead already and she doesn't even know it. You, get in here. Just hang the coat up in that closet over there. What'd you say your name was? Janie Marin, sir. Mr. Gibney. Why don't you wake me up, J -J J Marin? Well, you told me to wake you up at 2.30, sir. But it's only about... Um... Yeah, I'm just fucking with you, Jen. I couldn't sleep. So, you're gonna be my new assistant, huh? What horrible things have my staff told you about me? Oh, nothing, sir. I mean, uh, they said that you like things in a particular way, but nothing horrible. <laughs> Don't lie to me, honey. I'm sure they told you all about me. Like, don't talk to me unless I talk to you first. Yeah, they may have mentioned something like that. Don't talk about anything I discuss on my show. CERN and the New World Order and shit. You don't believe that one, do you? No, I didn't think that made sense. Tell me, Jenny. How much do you know about aliens and stuff? Well, actually, I'm really interested in... I mean, I wanted to reach out to you to get your help. 
And by the way, my name's Jenny. I mean Janie. Or Jane if you prefer. But you can call me Jenny, I guess. So yeah. I actually have this group. Well, I'm a part of this group, really. And we have all of this evidence of what the government's really doing. And Mulroney, he's another member of the group. He said that you're full of... I mean, he said that I shouldn't reach out to you. But I knew you could help us, so... Tell me, Jane Mary. Did they also tell you how much I like to fuck with people? I... Uh... You see, Janie, all those things they told you about me... They're true. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, huh? Do you think for a white hot moment I actually believe this shit I'm shoveling? Hell no! I wanna tell you the truth about this world. There are two types of people. Predators and prey. Wolves and sheep, if you will. I am a wolf. Born and bred. I look out at all the sheep, desperately trying to believe that the world is something other than a pitiful shithole. That some magic men are gonna come down in their spaceship and save them from the pain and agony of everyday life. <laughs> it's the same thing religion has been preaching for thousands of years. It's the new religion. People want to believe in something, but the harsh truth is, it's all just a sedative that wolves use to keep them docile while we hunt. Do you have any idea how much money I make with this crap? It's ridiculous. Do you know how much that bottle of scotch cost? 250 bucks. And I drink it like it was water. I order it by the case. And all you little shits pay for it. I, should you be telling me any of this? I'm not even worried. Because you work for me now. You're a part of the machine. Just be careful not to get caught up in the gears. I have contacts in the media. I'll tell them. And that non-disclosure agreement you signed means I'll sue you all the way to your mother's basement and back to your pitiful life. <laughs> You'll never work again. Not just in the media. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you won't even be able to clean bathrooms in a rest area. I own you, babe. Now, you can quit if you like. But if you blab even one word of anything I've said tonight, I will end you. Now get the fuck out of here. We'll pick up first thing in the morning. So yeah, they make you think that they only want your DNA sample so they can tell you about your ancestry, but really, they catalog that shit in the computer banks under the Denver airport, and then they're going to use it to make clones of us all that will replace us as they usher in the new world order. Huh? Oh yeah, no, I just... Five more! No? They say I have to get off the line now. Damn it. That's fine, Minimal. We always enjoy your calls. Listen, please, give us a call back next time you can. Will do. All right, get your hands off me. I said I'm coming. Okay, well, in case you joined us in the middle of that rant, that was the infamous Tampa sniper, Manimal Bishop, calling in from the state prison in Stark, Florida. He always has some very interesting takes on what's going on inside that military industrial compound uh, and all the various front enterprises they control. Well, unfortunately, it looks like that'll be the last call of the night as we run out of time. Well, my producer just let me know my clock is fast and we still have 15 minutes left. So, I guess we'll have time for another call. Oh, we have a mystery caller. Caller, you're on the air with the Shattered Mirror. Hi, uh, so, I don't want to use my name, but um, you can call me Groom Lake, I guess. This is such a bad idea. I mean, look, I don't know who it was or how they did it, but this group of people, they, they broke into 
one of the storerooms where they keep all of the reversed engineered alien tech and a bunch of prototype weapons were stolen. I mean, uh, this stuff is like 10 steps beyond bleeding edge. I, I was on duty that night, on monitor duty. Where the hell are you going? I, I mean, that that's okay, Mr. Gibney. I'll, I'll handle it. You, you could have a good night. They brought us in for debriefing and, and there were all these really weird guys dressed all in black and man, I don't, I don't think they were human. Jacob Gibney, we have been called by many names, but you may know us as anyone. We have concluded that your efforts to explore the truth of your existence makes you the best being to entrust our knowledge to. We will not transfer the knowledge to your home. You may find it disorienting for a time, but you will adapt. I'm not feeling very good right now. Could you call my office and make an appointment? Let's open up the door, or we will be forced to open up the door ourselves. Listen, I want to let you know I, ha I have very good security. And I'm calling them right now. Jacob Gibney, this is your final warning. Fuck you, G-Man! That's it. They beat us to him. You know, you just might as well turn the car around. In fact, you know what? I think I saw a shitty bar about a few miles back, so if you want, just go ahead and start heading that way. No, there's still time. You brought the thing, right? Oh, uh, yeah, I brought the thing, all right. Uh, you know, for all the good it's gonna do us. In fact, 
I just can't believe you didn't even let me have a single drink before we did this. What do you mean? You've been drinking all night. There's a beer in your hand right now. Oh yeah, well, I mean, this is beer. Well, it's exactly really drinking. In fact, you know I'm a much better aim when I'm drunk, right? <coughs> Jacob, give me. During times of extreme emotional distress, our minds can sometimes create elaborate fictions in order to cope with those situations that deems too disturbing the process. This evening, you may have thought you had a conversation with an extraterrestrial being, when in fact, this occurred completely in your mind. Please let me go. Witnesses state that you have been drinking heavily and left the studio abruptly. Please, I don't know what's going on. Please. <coughs> it's what I go to sleep. I warn you not to discuss any of the details that your mind may have created this evening. <coughs> it would be a shame if someone were to report that you presented danger to yourself or others. Many people Please. rely on the information that you <coughs> These people would be very distressed to hear that you suffered a psychotic break or worse. <coughs> I won't tell anyone. <coughs> Interdimensional fuckards. Put that piece of shit down before I blast you back to the port. Where you came from. Yeah, that's right. Want some? Come get some. Mr. Gibney, are you okay? Janie, over here. Yeah, I will in a minute. Making a sandwich. You want one? No, don't eat your giving food. Danny, me, 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 You know, that fat fuck makes so much off of his minions, and th they have to pay for his bullshit. You know, I'm entitled to one goddamn sandwich. You know we can hear you. Yeah, no shit. Oh. Oh. Janie, what the fuck happened? Oh, we just got done saving your lying piece of shit hide. That's all. And, uh, drinking your booze. Motherfucker. Put that back! Mr. Gibney, lay back down. A at least until we have a chance to look you over. How the hell did you get in here? <laughs> Where'd those goons go? <laughs> oh, yeah. What the hell happened to my pants? Oh, that's a funny story, too. Mm -hmm. well, well, I'm actually part of a secret conspiracy organization oh, that seeks to shit. expose the alien plot that reaches to the highest levels of all the world's governments. No, the highest. The highest. Oh, here, Jakey. 